Hello, everybody. This is Mr. Walker. Our lesson today is on division with a focus on problem solving. By the end of this video today, you will be able to use strategies to solve SOL style. SOL stands for standard of learning style division problems. 138 divided by 6. Let's use a strategy where we're using multiplication equations to solve. We work from left to right, digit by digit. 6 does not go into 1, but 6 can go into 13. I'm going to focus on the 13. 6 times n equals 13. I know from my multiplication facts that 6 times 1, 2 will get us to 12. So 6 and 2 and not 13, but 12. That's as close as we can get to the 13. I'm going to circle and use both of these numbers, 2 on the top. 12. When I compare, I did get close. I got within one. I subtract. Bring down to eight. 18 divided by six. And I'm going to use another equation. But this time, 18. When I use my fact chart, 1, 2, 3, so n is equal to 3, and it does equal 18 exactly. I'm going to use both these numbers, and 18, and I can see the 23 would be answer B. This problem is directly from a uh, SOL test that's been released, which is closest to 423 divided by 6. The word closest probably means we need to estimate, and I also see that our answers all have zeros. Those are two clues that this is an estimating problem. When we estimate division, we use something called compatible numbers. I rewrite this problem. Four hundred twenty three divided by six. I'm looking for a compatible number of six. And you'll notice that when I look on my chart, here's the six. The closest I can get to that forty three would be the 42. So that kind of works out pretty good. So I'm going to rewrite this as 42 divided by 6. And if you would check your chart, that would be equal to 7. So we used our 42, but that leaves to 3. We're going to cancel that 3 and 0 it. I'm going to count my zero, one, and write. And so my answer would be 70. There we go. So our closest to 423 divided by 6 is 70. This is right from a state test. Sometimes there's not a lot of words, right? It's just a problem. 741 divided by 3. I'm going to rewrite the problem. And this time I'm just going to use a more traditional DMSB, or in other words, divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down strategy. But remember, we're still using similar strategies as using multiplication to solve division. I'm going to work from left to right, starting with the seven digit by digit. Three 
does go into 7 two times. Then we multiply, that was our divide step, then we multiply 2 times to 3 is equal to 6. That brings us to the subtraction step. 7 minus 6 is 1. The B stands for bring down and start over. We're going to bring that 4 down. And then we start over with the divide. 14 divided by 3. Well, 3 will go into 14 a total of 4 times. That's our divide. Now we multiply. 4 times 3 is 12, and that brings us to the subtract step. 4 minus 2 is 2. Notice we still have this 1, so we will do the bring down step again. Rewrite that 1, and now we start all over again. Remember, bring back and start over. 21 divided by 3, well, that would be 7. That's our divide. 7 times 3 is 21. And we see that we do not have any remainder. So our quotient is 247, which would be answer C. This is rewritten from a state test several years ago. John ran a total of 342 minutes in the seven-day period. He ran about the same number of minutes each day. Which is closest to the number of minutes John ran on one of those days? I see the word closest, right? I also see my answers all end in zeros, which is a pretty strong clue that this is going to be an estimating. Remember that when we divide and estimate, we use compatible numbers. I'm going to take my 342. And divide that by our 7. Now, a compatible number means a compatible number with 7. If I look on my multiplication chart and get as close as I can to 34 would be the 35. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So remember, I'm narrowing down and getting close to 34. We said on that chart that that would be 30. Five. Now we're going to divide. 37, excuse me, 35 divided by 7 is equal to 5. We still have that 2. We're going to cancel out that 2 and 0 it. Count the zeros and write the zeros. So 50 is our quotient. That would be answer B, 50. This is from a SOL test. You can see this is pretty easy, the way it's written. 348 divided by 3. Let's use our multiplication equation strategy to solve this one. I'm going to rewrite our problem. 348 divided by 3. We are going to work across from left to right, digit by digit. I do see that the 3 does go into 1, but we said we're going to use multiplication. So I'm going to start with the 3. 3 times n equals 3. Well, in this case, n will be 1. And we know that 3 times 1 is equal to 3. We're going to use both these numbers, the 1 on top. The 3 goes down here. 
and then we subtract. And that's going to be zero. Bring down our four. Now we have four divided by three. Let's use our equation again. Three, which is this three, times n equals four. And I'm going to solve for n. Well, three times the best I can do again is one. But three times one is not four. It's actually three. We learned that up here. So it's going to cross out to four. I'm going to circle both of these numbers. And once again, I'm going to use both these numbers. The one goes up here. And the three goes there. Then I subtract. Four minus three is one. Still have this eight. I'm going to bring that eight down and rewrite it. Now I have 18 divided by three. I'm going to write my equation. Three times n is equal to this time 18. If I use my multiplication chart or my knowledge of multiplication, I know that to solve for n, that's going to be 6. 3 times 6 does equal 18, so I can circle that one. I'm going to circle both and use both. 6 goes on the top, and the 18 on the bottom. I have no remainder. So my quotient is 116 which would be answer C. Five hundred twenty divided by five. Our strategy this time is we're going to pay extra close attention to our place value and let's use multiplication to solve again. Five hundred twenty divided by five. We work from left to right, digit by digit. Five does go into five. So I'm going to go five times n equals five. Well, n in this case would be equal to one. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. I'm going to circle both and use both. The 1, remember, goes over the 5. And this 5 goes under the 5 to subtract. 5 minus 5 is 0. Now, remember we said we want to keep an eye on our place value. Remember that our dividend has three place values. It's, it's a three-digit number. I'm going to write that up here. It's hundreds tens, and ones. Notice that this one is in the hundreds place value. Now that's important because look over here. 14 is only a two-digit answer. Our answer must have three digits, so we can eliminate A immediately. We know it's going to be one of these three. Okay, let's move on. Let's bring down our Two. What we have here is 2 divided by 5. Well, that's not going to work, but let's show our multiplication anyway. Ready? 5 times n is equal to 2. Remember, we may not go over. Our n in this case is going to actually be 0. 5 times n. 0 equals 0, not 2. I guess I can draw a circle. Looks like eyes, doesn't it? I'm going to use both of these zeros, this 0 on top and this 0 on the bottom. And then I'm going to subtract. 2 minus 0 is equal to 2. Now I'm going to bring this zero down and rewrite the zero here. 
And now I have 20 divided by 5. Or in other words, if we use our multiplication, 5 times n equals 20. This time, n is going to be 4 because 5 times 4 is equal to 20. I circle both numbers and I'm going to use both numbers. 20 on the bottom. I will have no remainder. And my quotient is 104, which would be answer B. One more. 741 divided by 3. Let's use our divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. We're going to go digit by digit. 3 can go into 7. It goes 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. I subtract. 7 minus 6 is 1. Bring down. That's our bring down. So we divided, multiplied, subtract. Now we're bring down to start over. Bring down the 4. And we start with the divide again. 14 divided by 3, that would be equal to 4. That's the best we can do. 3 times 4 is 12. That's the multiply step. Now we're going to do the S step, which is subtract. That's our 2. And then the B, the 1, we're going to bring it down, rewrite it. 21, and then we start all over again. 21 divided by 3 is 7. That's our divide. Now we multiply. 7 times 3 is 21. And then we subtract. Notice that we have no numbers to bring down. So our quotient is 247, which would be answer A. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Hope this was helpful. See you next time.